So today I, I received a question from a viewer, and um, really I'd never thought about doing it before, but um, their question was how to download malware um, if they want to go out and look for malware and um, you know process samples in their own VM. And I've never really showed how to do that, so I'll show that real quick. There's a couple sites that I use. Um, malware, M-A-L-W-R.com, is a good resource. Um, if you come up here to the top bar and go to analysis, their site is a little slow. But uh, eventually you'll come to it and you get a big long listing of files and you can go down through and click on the MD5 for the file if you see one that you like. So let's just take this one. And then if the file is available for download, if you scroll down a little bit, there's going to be a download button here. But as you see, it's not shared by the uploader. So we can't download this particular file. If it was available, then this download button would be uh, clickable and you could download the sample to your machine. Now of note, you have to have a an account on malware.com, which is free. Uh, you just have to sign up, uh, get a username, email address, etc. But when you're logged in, if the sample is available, this is where it will be available at this download button. The next option, and the one I like a little better than malware.com, um, it's a little quicker, but they are. And that's uh, Reverse It. And Reverse It has a nifty little chart up here to tell you before you even click into the file if it's available. And that's this little icon here, the sample not shared. Kind of looks like a speaker with a less than sign or something. Maybe an eyeball, I'm not sure. But this one, for instance, it has the little eyeball, so it's not shared, so we can't download it. This one's not, this one's not, this one's not. And if you're logged in, you have to be logged in, you have to have an account, and it's free. But if the sample is available, the sample download button will be available on the main page next to the malware. So you can download it just right there. You can also click into the file. And view all of the other analysis notes and everything. But you can also download it here. Uh, top left-ish corner it says sample. You just download it to your computer. And again, you have to be logged in. The third option um, is actually a paid for option. Uh, if you have a industry account or a corporate account, I can't remember the name of it, with Virus Total, you can download all kinds of stuff. Um, I don't know how much it is, I can't remember, but uh, if you're really serious about it, um, this is definitely one of the best things to have. But again, it does cost a little bit of money. Um, but these are the main places that I get malware from, as well as uh, user submissions. And uh, if you all have any questions on, you know, how to, how to get the malware or how to analyze something, or if you're just curious about something that's on the site and it's not self-explanatory, go ahead and hit us up at ringzerolabs.com and we'd be happy to answer any questions.